Grooming Department, Mallard Colfi. Coming right up. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today, I've got a new to me soap, Mallard Colfi from Grooming Department or Grooming Debt, whatever you want us to call it. Um, so that's gonna be my soap. Aftershave, the duo Barrel Proof, Zingari Man and BBS Live collaboration. Beautiful, um, boozy sandal wood. Super nice, should be a very nice pairing with here, with the soap. Zingari Man Unscented Balm. My weapon of the day, Zamula R41 with a feather. You can see I've got a few days of growth here, so I'm going to mow this down. And my brush, once I get it out of the water here, my Grizzly Bay with the um, V11 or V12 Fancherian. I think this is the V11 Fancherian knot. Um, wonderful jelly knot. So excited to get this shave going. Hope everyone's had a nice relaxing weekend. If it hasn't been relaxing, I hope it at least has been good. A little bougie spa water today. It doesn't stay warm, but it's actually really hot in the bottle here. All right. And there's the soap. Let's get in there. All right. We'll put just a little touch of water in the brush and we'll get going. These mallard soaps are pretty soft, um, so it does not take hardly anything to load it. You certainly don't need to soak it before, before loading. No soak before load, just load. I'll get plenty of soap loaded in here so we can play with the lather. This is their new Mallard base, which I love the old one, and I've already tried the um, Earl Grey Gelato, and I love this formula. I love the old one. I love this one. Still working on the scent of um, Earl Grey Gelato. My wife actually loves it, so that's good. So she will definitely shave with that as well. And, you know, I want to use it a few more times. Some things that aren't your favorite right off, you know, you end up growing a real affinity for, and then you end up loving them. So, you know, I would say never shave with, you know, a product one time um, and make up your mind right there and be done with it. Um, you know, give it, give yourself a chance. Some things, you know, may not be exactly like you think they're going to smell right off. Um, and so that may, you know, that may twist you towards a, a negative feeling over the soap uh, or over the scent. Um, but don't let that get you. I'll tell you, the first time I smelled um, Reserve Lavender from Barrister and Man. I did not like it at all. And now it's one of my favorite scents. So, case in point. Mm. I didn't even give you scent notes yet. So this is Mallard Colfi. Cardamom, rose water, coconut, spices, milk, nuts, butter, and sandalwood. Um, and I definitely get the sandalwood in there. There's definitely a nice cardamom note. Um, it's a little on the sweeter side. Not incredibly sweet, but it's sweet and rich. There's certainly a nutty scent um, in there and definite spices. Some of the... Um, cold weather baking spices um, are what I get in there. Very nice so far. Got 
nice creamy lather. I just absolutely love this soap base. Holds a lot of water, very slick, great post shave, just really good performer. Hope you guys watched Real Talk on Friday night. A lot of great stuff given away. A lot of great stuff. Very generous. On everyone who donated for that, especially Jason at the Razor Company. That guy is awesome. You talk about someone who feeds this community. He is the dude. Please. Buy stuff from the Razor Company, please. Great guy, you know, as well as having great products as well. Just a really great stand-up guy. Mm-hmm. There it is. Tastes like cardamom. Actually, pretty good. Not very bitter. Hey, six on the tasteometer. I know no one's ever gotten a six before. This is unprecedented. Let's see, I'm getting shiny there, but we still got a little, little ways to go. If you don't like to watch lathering, you may want to fast forward a few minutes. Or enjoy your popcorn, as Mel says. Mel from BBS Live. Whoa, there's a big one. I think we're good now. I've got a ton of lather here. And it's falling off every time I move, so there you go. It's, uh, she's hydrated. The peaks are just falling over on my fingers. Very good. Tasty lather. I want to eat some coffee now. On my shirt. All right, I've got lather all over my hand, so I'm gonna hit it with a, hit my fingers with a, um, Allen bar, Allen block. Easier to use than it is to say. All right, let's get going here. I don't know how many days growth this is, but it's too many. Feather works so nice in this razor. Just a fantastic razor for multiple days growth. It's a fantastic razor anyway, but... It really excels with multiple days growth. I mean, you can see just a quick run down there. And I mean, that's clean. That's down to skin level.
Anyway, a great show on Friday night. A ton of giveaways. A lot of people got a lot of really nice stuff. Also, the collaboration between Zingari Man and a whole lot of other people that donated um, to help the area of Kentucky. Um, they got hit by the, the bad tornado. I was on the ground for like 250 miles. Just absolutely crazy. Some of the places it just totally leveled. But great for Zingari Man to put that together to help those in need. I believe it was over $3,000 um, raised for that. So very nice job. I was very happy to be able to put just a little bit of money into that. All right. Boy, and that's good. I got like a spot there that still has hair, but it's pretty smooth already. Let me change this to water and get some new so I don't put this hair right back on my face. Hope everyone is done with their Christmas shopping. If not, <laughs> you're probably in trouble at this point. Or maybe you'll get lucky and Santa will be the one that brings all the gifts and you won't have to supply any. I will say that my oldest Reed was on the naughty list, um, but he got a letter from Santa the other day saying that he had made it onto the nice list. So we're certainly happy about that. Hope he'll keep it up so we can get some presents. Nice slick lather. All right, let's keep going. going for that extremely baby butt smooth today. I may pay for it, I may not. I just love Shaving with this razor and blade combo. It is the mecca for me as far as DE right now. However, I do have a carve on the way. Uh, with the open comb, I got the um, straight bar C plate. And the um, open comb F plate. 
so we'll see we'll see how those do excited to try them out I think they're supposed to be here like Tuesday ish All right, other direction. spot right there. Beautiful. Probably could have loaded a touch more leather or a touch more soap. Sorry, still plenty good. That ought to be good enough. Almost there.
I think we're there. A huh? couple little spots, a little mix, but nothing big. This is starting to happen to me a little more often because I haven't. Okay, go ahead, pee on the putty. I haven't been shaving as much lately, so my skin's a little more, a little more sensitive. Okay, buddy, go ahead. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying Jackson. Man, awesome shave. Very little feedback. Not my brush. Beautiful brush. Really nice. It's got great grip with a little fluting in there. And the knot's fantastic. I still have only used this a couple of times. It's still got um, the rest of the hair to be broken in. Obviously, the, the um, bleach gel tips um, are already plenty broken in. But, you know, you still have to break in the rest of it as well. And it'll just continue to get softer and the flow through will get better and better. All right, beautiful. Awesome, love it. All right, alum off with cold water. Got me a Lancaster tail, black sheep tail, mm. super soft, also incredibly absorbent. And they may still have these, uh, some of these at the razor company, so look for them. Mm. Oh, awesome shave. Mm-hmm. All right. After shave, barrel proof. Beautiful, creamy, deep sandalwood, boozy, a little hint of coconut to my nose. Mm. A little sweet, extremely smooth. Mm. Absolutely one of my favorite scents in wet shaving. Mm. It is fantastic. And 
think the razor company has some of this right now too. And I don't know if they have the uh, barrel proof x trait or not. Um, but if so, I really want that x trait. Um, and now we'll just finish up with a little balm. I mean, cold here. We got a few inches of snow last night, maybe, I don't know, it looks like around four inches, something like that. Nothing too big, but enough that my kids could tube down the side of the house where our hill is. They had a great time. It was fun watching them. I did go down once as well. And it was awesome. All right. I am not using an additional scent. Um, it's getting towards nighttime here now. Um, so, also, I want to keep smelling this barrel proof on my face, even if it's not super strong on my face. I mean, it's it's strong right now. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have alcohol in the splash. So, um, you know, it doesn't tend to stay around as much, doesn't tend to project you know, as well as something that's alcohol based, but it's absolutely beautiful, fantastic scent. Um, medium, medium strong, um, I would call it. Very, very nice, creamy sandalwood, boozy. Oh man, it's just great. Um, I hope you guys will check it out. Um, see if the Razor Company has it now um, and see if you can get you one before they're all gone. I hope you have great holidays. Hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you have abundance of time with your families, you know, um, just try and focus on all of the positive things that have happened over the year. Um, don't dwell on the other things that you can't control, uh, but just try and keep a positive vibe going and keep that going into the new year. Peace guys. I'll see you on the next one.